Are you testing your apps on a real device when you're developing for Android? Well, you should be. And today I'm gonna to show you how to set up your Android device so that it puts you in developer mode and allows you to debug on the device. And this works for native Android development as well as native script development. Let's check it out. Hey everybody, this is Alex. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Usually we do native script tips, tricks, and tutorials here, but this video is all about developing for Android and specifically how to run and debug your applications using a CLI on an Android device, not just the emulator. So typically I show my demos here using the Android emulator or the iOS simulator. But when you're getting close to deploying that application and really testing it out and seeing how it behaves on a device, you really gotta start developing and hooking your app up to the device. You might feel some differences in how the application behaves and you might need to go and debug that. All right, so today I'm gonna show you how to turn on some of those developer mode settings, including USB debugging on a real hardware device. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. All right, so I've got my device. This is an Android Pixel 1. This is what I use for my testing. And we're gonna be running on this device. Now I've created a brand new scaffolded out native script application. This can be native script or this can really be any Android app and I'm going to run it by using a CLI command. This is the native script CLI, ns run Android. Now, if I don't have my device plugged in, this is going to see what devices are available and it's going to kick off the Android simulator or the emulator. It's gonna find that the emulator is available on my system because I've configured that through Android Studio previously and it's going to kick things off and there it is, there's my application this is an android application happens to be native script but it could be really any android app and it's running on my emulator native script has a handy command ns devices and this will tell me what devices are connected what devices are available and there we go it's a pixel 2 api 29 android emulator so that's what's available right now let's go ahead and plug this in and see what we need to do to get this running i'm going to plug this into my machine USB-C to USB-C. I heard a little chime and I got the charging icon there saying that it's plugged in successfully. And I'm going to run that NS devices command again and see if this communicates with the Android runtime or the Android development environment, I should say. And look at that, we don't have a connection. It's not detecting this device. Furthermore, if I do run that app one more time, I'm gonna say NS run Android. If I do run that app again, now normally you'd see uh, the device plugged in, this will be detected and it'll automatically install the application on the Android device, the hardware device, but that is not being detected and we get the emulator running again. And the reason for that is because you need to configure the device specifically to be able to debug and run applications on the hardware device via USB. So let me show you how we can do that. So here's what we need to do on the device itself in order to get USB debugging working. So you can, this will allow you to run applications on the device and it'll allow you to debug the applications while it's running on the device, which is pretty cool. We're gonna go to the settings app in Android and then we're gonna scroll down all the way to system, click on that. Then you have about phone and we're gonna click on that, scroll all the way down, you'll see build number right there. Build number is a special one. So when we tap on that a few times, seven times to be specific, you need to tap on it seven times. And it's going to tell you how many steps away you're being away from being a developer. Okay, now it's asking me for my pin number for the device. And of course, I'm going to show you all my pin number, which is very secret. You can use this to access all my banking information. We're going to go ahead and hit enter there. And now it says you are now a developer. So that's all we did. I'm gonna exit out of here. Let's go sit back down. Actually, I'm the one that's standing. You're probably sitting and watching this or maybe you're walking, but I'm gonna sit back down, adjust my microphone here. I'm gonna terminate this running application. Let's clear the screen one more time. And now I'm gonna run the command NS devices again to see what gets detected. Okay, so we're still detecting only the Pixel 2 
and that's our emulator. I'm gonna unplug my phone and I'm gonna plug it back in. Okay, I heard the little chime there. Just wanna check the system settings again to make sure I'm developer. Ah, there is something else we gotta do here. So I'm gonna head over to system, advanced, and then down here we have new option that you didn't have before. This is the developer options. We're gonna click on that. Looks like this is turned on in fact. Allow development settings, yes indeed. Now, there is a setting down here that we need to adjust. Ah, right there. I missed this one. Debugging says USB debugging and that's off right now. And I need to turn that on. So it says allow USB debugging. We wanna say okay. And always allow from this computer. That's a good option. It's gonna give you a key and I'm gonna hit okay there. Go back home. Now just for one more measure, I'm gonna unplug this, plug it back in. Now let's go back to the computer. Now I'm gonna run NS devices. It's gonna search for the devices again and hopefully, fingers crossed, we will find something. Yes, look at that. We have Marlin Android. I don't know why it's called Marlin. I didn't name it Marlin, but it's Marlin. So there we go, we have it there. It's a USB connection. Now I'm gonna run NS run Android and this will go ahead and it should automatically install on this device and open up the application. Let's see what happens. Okay, there we go. So now we have our app working. This is the hello world for native script, of course. So that's pretty cool. Now you can do full debugging. And if you wanna debug, you issue a different command. So we're gonna issue the command NS debug Android. Let's go ahead and hit enter there. It'll also run the application on the device, but this time you're gonna have debugging enabled and this will allow us to basically use developer tools in Chrome to debug. So it'll give you this URL for dev tools. I'm gonna copy that. We're gonna pop open Chrome and head over to that URL. Now you'll be able to take a look at your code. So here we are. We have this code available. We can take a look at our different TypeScript files and even put breakpoints here. So I'm gonna put a breakpoint right there in the on tap handler. And this is what handles this button right here. So if I tap on this button, you will see now that we've hit our breakpoint and we're able to examine our variables and debug. It's time for swag giveaway. A little bit ago, I did a video on NativeScript transparent gradient fix. This was an issue that some people ran into, others didn't notice it yet, but it's a pretty nice fix. So if you haven't seen that, make sure you watch that video. You're probably gonna run into this problem at one point or another. Richard Vink says, dude, awesome. How can you find out about this? Well, Richard, I found out about this myself because I'm working on an application for a client and I noticed that there was a dark area in the bottom of a scroll view. This was due to an overlay and I wanted to get rid of it. So I started trying out different things and I realized that we're using transparent. Then I remembered a video I did recently here not too long ago about the differences between transparent, opacity, and things like that. So I decided to give it a shot and I tried a background color value with alpha channel. So that's how I came about doing it. Sometimes it's just remembering things and trial and error. Not even sure if this is something that would be documented anywhere. Richard, some swag coming your way and thanks for your comment. And folks, leave me comments down below. I'm giving away swag to the comments I select. Make sure it's a good one and I'll see you all in the next one. So there we go. That's how you hook up an Android real device to your tooling for Android. And in this case, we're using native script, which is gonna work through the CLI. So there you go, folks. That's how you do it. That's how you set up your Android device for debugging on a hardware device. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next video.